And welcome back everybody. So today Nintendo released the I think the final Smash Brothers Direct until the game comes out. It comes out next month. So uh we're gonna jump right into it, but before we get into it, don't forget I have a giveaway for this game and the uh Pro Controller special edition for this game. So link in the description on how to take advantage of that free giveaway. With that out of the way, we're gonna just jump. Just jump. Right into this bad boy. I hope it's it's good stuff. I don't I don't know. Do you know? The mouse is on two screens. Anyway, let's go. It's on two screens! Turn this up. Hello, this is Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited, and this is the final Nintendo Direct for the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So far, we've confirmed 72 fighters, 74 if you count Pokemon Trainer as 3. Our entire team has worked really hard. So many characters. With this Nintendo Direct, we'll have revealed every fighter you can find in the game. Okay, let's do this. Don't they do that or something? Not actual footage of this the game. My man, little man, Ken. He's fighting Ken. That's not a cool. That's not cool, man. Damn, he start off with Ken. I guess that leak. That leak was real. I don't like spoilers, man. I don't like leaks too much because they spoil. What you got different, man? I knew. Yeah. Yeah. I know you got that spin throw. Oh. oh, I like that transition. We better stop messing with Little Mac, man. Okay. What the hell was that? Woo! Well, why is he messing with Little Mac so much? KO! That's right! Fire. Oh man, Pokemon. A new Pokemon. I had him on my uh version of Pokemon. So you wanna fight fire with fire, huh? Had a female one though. <clears throat> He's so adorably monstrous. Hey, I might pick him, man. Wrestler. messed up. Let me see that final. <laughs> what? I am pressed. Uh oh. These specials are intense, man. Wow, I like that. <laughs> That's cute. Nice. And center roar. Oh, I'm throwing up on there. Maybe making spots for these characters, man. Okay, so that makes more sense. So many characters in this game. Hailing from the Street Fighter series, Ryu's rival Ken joins as an Echo Fighter. What's better on this TV? In his original game, Ken could be considered Ryu's Echo Fighter. Though perhaps you could say Luigi is the original Echo Fighter. But let's get back to <laughs> Ken has been distinguished from Ryu over the years, but the Ken you'll see this time is based on Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Here's how he'll differ from Ryu. His heavy Shoryuken turns up the heat. The shape of his Hadouken is different too. Oh, it looks like the Super Nintendo. And his Tatsumaki Senpukeku strikes opponents multiple times. How does he say that? Hell Wheel. Focus Attack. Dang. We've included lots of Ken's signature moves, such as his famous kicks, which change based on your command inputs. He's, got two. He's a bit faster than Ryu, and we've also incorporated other tweaks from recent titles. Just like Ryu, he has two final smashes. 
First, the spinning uppercut, Shoryuken. We've made it look flashy, as it is in the Versus series. Execute a Dude, like every level is back, man. Instead, perform a Shippu Jin Raigeki. Falcon dead. Falco dead. Whatever. Incineroar. Now for our last new challenger, Incineroar. Did you see the it may be a Pokemon, people's fight? But it mainly it uses terrible. pro wrestling moves, and as such, its throws are a bit more powerful. Oh man. Like a true pro wrestler, when one of its attacks is successful, <laughs> it'll pose for the audience. Luckily, you can cancel out of these poses at any okay, time, cool. so they won't open you up to additional enemy attacks. Its neutral special is get a little annoying. Darkest Lariat. It was in Cinnaroar's signature uh, yeah, it was. The Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon games. Perhaps it's something up. of a red cyclone. Its up special is Cross Chop. You'll leap up and come rocketing back down. This is slow motion. This attack can be very effective, but if you mess up, it's easy to self-destruct, so be careful. Like Gandalf and Captain For Falcon's side kick. Special, Incineroar makes opponents run the ropes after a dashing grab. When they bounce ropes. back your way, press the button at just the right moment. Okay. If you're too early, you'll do a back body drop. Wait too long and you'll fail. Nail the timing and you'll pull off a powerful Dang. leg. Dang! Golly! Its down special is Revenge. When damaged, spell. Incineroar's burning passion comes to the surface, powering up its next attack. That's Incineroar's idea of a counterattack. Damn. And its final smash? Max Malicious Moonsault. It's even faster and fiercer than the Z-Move. I'm cutting off the name of the stuff. I should probably move me. We finally revealed all of the fighters you'll find in the game. This is the initial fighter select screen. Oh my gosh. There aren't very many at first, but it is wow. the same amount as the original Nintendo 64 game. Two, four, six, eight, and once you've unlocked them all, Dude, that is insane, man. It'll look like this. Wolf. It may seem hard to guess where each one's located, but they're sorted by number in the order they joined the series. Okay. So many. I hope you'll enjoy battling with all 74 so fighters many. on the roster. 74 fighters. I'm just with this continuing Pokemon. Wolf! That's my man. At least they. You may recall they were creating amiibo in parallel with the game. Here's a look at the new oh, amiibo wow. figures. Ken looks good. Pichu. you. Gaming icons clash. We determined that collectible trophies wouldn't be a great fit for this game. Honestly, they were really difficult to develop too. Hmm. That said, the Super Smash Bros. series is one massive crossover at heart, and we want to create something more. A way to enjoy characters other than fighters, from a variety of video game worlds. Here's what we came up with. They're called Spirits. They got that right. People analyze too much, man. And I don't mean the spooky kind. To put it simply, these spirit characters will lend a helping hand to your fighters, powering them up in battle. What? Okay. We obviously got that wrong. In the Super Smash Bros. Oh, series, man. the characters are toys in the real world, but they are fighters in the world of the imagination. Returning to the real world is an ongoing theme. In the imagination, Dude, we got a story mode back. impossible combinations of characters. In this mysterious world, the unspeakable happens. Many the beloved hell? characters lose their physical forms. That looks freaky. All of them, except the fighters, are turned into spirits, unable to return to the real world. This is a spirit. Fighters can join forces with spirits to enhance their powers. It seems complex. There's a massive amount of wildly different spirits. Zero. There are several classes of spirits. Oh my gosh. Standard spirits are dubbed novices. Stronger ones have the title advanced. Especially strong ones are called aces, and some are in a league of their own. <laughs> Legend. He's already dead. 
One primary spirit can be assigned at a time. This is something. A primary spirit's power will be added to the fighter who has it equipped. How about you just give me the game now? In some now? cases, these augmented fighters become extremely powerful. Oh, snap. If a primary spirit has enough available slots, you can assign them support spirits. Oh my gosh, like everything. While primary spirits enhance fighter stats, support spirits lend them additional skills. Once the primary spirit charge and smash. support spirits are set, your fighters all powered up. The main like... way to acquire spirits is to win spirit battles. Oh my gosh. You'll find a variety of spirits lined up on the spirit board. Choose the one you want to battle for. When you do, you'll face off against the fighter whose abilities and personality are kinda sorta similar to the opposing spirit. Kinda sorta similar. In the case of the Lakitu and Spiny spirit, you'll battle against Iggy Koopa and a group of small red Bowsers. Mm -hmm. Iggy's riding high in his Koopa Clown car, of course. Here are some examples of other battles we can expect. I don't think people got him and Smash Brothers. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Giant Mega Man. <laughs> Just throwing the crap out of Ninja. Chrome. Just taunt. Let me just taunt. Oh, look at his sword. Dying King Cave. Cool. Well, that's not fair. Oh my goodness. This is a nice little extra. Because I'll be on the go a lot, so this is sweet. They fit a lot in this game, man. Music. Look at Rob, he's like titanium or something. Timers for this stuff? Oh my gosh, there's little bills everywhere. Victory! What the hell is this? Fighter to acquire the spirit within. Oh. Give me Q. Even if you accidentally hit the shield. The damage will carry over, so you'll have an advantage the next time you encounter that spirit. Oh my gosh, for real? Primary spirits have strength based on their attack. Taking off this day. Attack is strong this looks like against war. grab. Grab is strong against shield, and shield is strong against attack. This looks like it's important fire to emblem. a spirit that has an advantage over your opponent. When you encounter traps like poison floors and slumber floors, be sure to prep yourself with an appropriate support spirit. Battle conditions offer hints before battle, so make sure to read them and form the right strategy. I'm covering it, I'm so sorry. Here we go. Oh, I look weird. With spirits oh, on your weird. side, there are all kinds of things you can do. Yeah, I'm really focus on the spirits. You fight with a primary spirit equipped. It'll level up after battle. Or you can feed it snaps. Some spirits even have an enhanced form you can only unlock by leveling them up. You can also send spirits back to the real world. While you do have to say goodbye to that particular spirit, its core will stay. And by combining these cores, you can summon a new spirit. My goodness, man. You can also train spirits at dojos and the gym. 
or send them off in search of treasure, which they'll bring back to you. This reminds These me of seem like unlikely Xenoblade. teams of characters, but each team could be somebody's dream come true. Training and exploring continues to yield results, even while playing other modes or after turning off the game. So if you send out your spirits, just let them do their thing. Certain spirits are known as masters. You can beat them to unlock facilities. Spirits can also be used to power up amiibo figure players. You must bid them farewell, but you can repeat the process multiple times. It's one great big collection of characters from this many different series. A lot. But just how many would you guess there are? I don't even... I don't know. Whenever you fight against the spirit, the final smash meter is enabled. Some spirits even help you fill up your gauge at a faster rate. Isn't this the melee one? That's the new special, isn't it? Another way to put it? The spirit system lets you simulate battles wow, between what characters the hell? from more series than ever before. You can enjoy many unbelievable combinations and situations. Wow. This is crazy. Can you do this online? The power of enemy and ally spirit teams is displayed here. Oh. Of course, stronger spirit teams make it easier to defeat weaker spirits. The more your power overshadows theirs, the less you'll be rewarded. It pays to have a fair fight. Mm -hmm. While assembling a team, press the Y button for a recommendation that has a type advantage against the opposing spirit team. The nice. game will recommend support spirits who can help out with certain conditions. Keep that in mind. That's good to know. You can also fight against other players who are using spirits. Doesn't say online. Given the way spirit types interact in battle, think carefully when building your team. This or balance your nuts. strengths in a two-on-two -two battle. Okay. The game is battle together with friends via That's local beautiful, wireless, man. or take the fight to the world with online play. To connect to adapter. Nintendo Switch consoles, press the DR button to pull up the dashboard and select local wireless. There's no longer a need to separate the online modes into for fun and for glory. Instead, matchmaking is based on three factors. Okay. For online battles, you can set your preferred rules. These rules can be pre-registered so you can quickly select oh, your favorite cool. playstyle. Before battle, Seven one minutes. player's preferred rules will be chosen at random, and all players will fight using those rules. You can also choose not to set any preferred rules and let the others decide instead. Wow. If possible, the matchmaking system will find players with similar preferences and link them up for a battle. Global well, Smash Bros is being factored into matchmaking, but it's still used as an online leaderboard as well. A high GSP score, such as 100,000, means you've got more points than 99,999 other players. Your GSP will change as the total population of players increases oh, before man. you're overtaken. If you're yearning for a challenge, try increasing your global smash power so that you'll naturally end up yeah, with some more strong. serious opponents. By the way, you can set a GSP score for each fighter. Fighters you wow. haven't used yet will be assigned a placeholder GSP based on the highest score you've set with one of the other fighters. If you repeatedly self-destruct on purpose, you could face a penalty. Thank God about that, man. So please don't Hate do that. that. Yeah, please don't do that. As with any multiplayer game, a stable connection is very important. For this reason, the matchmaking system will prioritize shorter distances between players. So even if you set your preferred rules, please understand that we can't promise you'll always be matched accordingly. Mm -hmm. it makes sense. As such, we'd appreciate it if you could make your connection as stable as possible. A wired LAN cable is recommended. Mm. We've prepared a variety of other features for local wireless and online battles. Okay. Elite battles. Once your global smash power is high enough, you can enter elite battles. When you reach this level, feel free to pat yourself on the back. You're good. 
period. After the game releases, we may adjust the game balance, and the team will definitely pay attention to the results of these elite battles. Dang. Everyone who plays online needs their own smash tag. <laughs> nice. If you beat a fellow player, you'll receive their smash tag. But it's not like you'll lose your smash tag even if you lose a battle. Mm -hmm. You simply gain more tags as you win. Okay. Try to collect lots of smash tags. You can, can select short messages and send them before and after battles using the directional buttons. No. Freely choose from a wide selection of very talk, man? reset messages. Nintendo, I get you. After you've chosen a fighter, you can enjoy other modes while you wait for the battle to begin. Not every mode will be available while matchmaking runs in the background, but you can leave and enter some game modes. How's that lag, though? Oh, spectator, spectator mode. mode returns once again, so you can watch other players' battles. Maybe you can pick up some good tips that way. Form a two-player team and play together online with a single Nintendo Switch system. Yeah, You'll be paired up against two-player teams with the same setup. Oh, cool. It's not separate. When you want to play online, you can create a special type of room to fight other players. If you set the rules for one of these battle arenas, you can fight against your friends. Here, there are spots where you can join the battle, wait in line, or even spectate. It all depends where you place your token. When you're in a battle arena, this should come in handy. Yeah, I'm really pushing that With phone. the Nintendo Switch Online app, you can voice chat with others in battle arenas. Until my battery dies, right? It may become an essential tool for some players. <laughs> we are also developing a free service for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and we're naming it Smash World. Instead okay, that's of focusing pretty on cool. stats like win loss records, we're allowing players to play games when you to come. And watch them and more. Once the service starts, we'll offer regular updates so you can post to your heart's content. That's pretty cool. Next, I'd like to change topics and talk a little about assist trophies that will support your fighters in battle. Do you know which characters come from which games? This is this. Luigi's Mansion. Oh, it's not Luigi's Mansion. Silent Hill. Oh, Fatal Frame. Hey, man. This is an assist trophy? Jesus! Don't let Luigi get hit, man. Come on, that's just messed up. Why are you always picking on Luigi, man? Oh, Spring Man! He's so new. I was just put him in a game. Look at that. Wily's punks. Yo, there's so much in this game, man. Oh, you can kill him. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Does it really zoom in like that? Vicky! Jesus. Oh man, yeah. Do you know your Nintendo history or something? Art Academy? Never we'll play that. I know of it. Gil Guile. <laughs> Sonic. They didn't have to talk. That was nothing. No Sonic Booms? Oh my gosh. Virtual Fighter? <laughs> Tuning 
They look clean to be a cell shit like that. Oh, that's annoying. The total number of assist trophies is now 59. Actually, they outnumber the Pokemon this time. Wow. Assist trophies who can be KO'd can be defeated by the fighter who summoned them just before they're KO'd. That way, you won't lose a point to the other player. Oh. Now, I'd like to cover a variety of other features in the game. Oh my gosh, man. Well, I don't, I don't. If you want to review the controls or game modes, press the ZR button to open the dashboard. There's so much in here. There are all kinds of helpful guides to check out. 3v3, man. I want Century Smash. Century Smash may look familiar to veterans. It feels great to keep smashing enemies off the screen, doesn't it? Of course. You can play on many different stages, and you can choose the music, too. You too, my man. Tear him up. In previous games, you had to oh, all -Star, fighter yeah. before playing All-Star mode. But now, you can play it right out of the box. I kind of like unlocking that. The currently available fighters will appear endlessly. Uh, I like unlocking that. You can save the replay data of your battles. And now, you can Take create pictures. videos with it. There's also a menu where you can read those quick tips and tricks you see during loading screens. Just With give me the them, game. You can sort by category or fighter. Complete challenges to earn rewards. This time, each page is sorted by category, and the layout looks more like a comic book. Like a comic book. Press the button to check out each picture. That's Enjoy. Nice. The records menu tracks your battle history. There are five different options. Smash tags. You can view battle data separately for offline and online play. Some people who play online. Smash tags to score some okay. in-game gold. Wait, you trade them in then what? Does it go back to zero? Gold or can be stay? exchanged for music tracks, spirits, and items for spirits mode. If you're collecting music, I recommend visiting the shop to find the ones you want, instead of just relying on challenges. Like 200 songs or something? 500? You can enter crazy. the options menu by pressing the ZR button to open the dashboard. Yeah, I'm going through every, this everything. This one every. 11 languages. I know this is very important to some of you. For example, the voices of Pokemon are different in several languages. Oh man, I want a Japanese. The fighter names are also specific to each language. <laughs> That's cool, man. These options were highly requested and well worth the effort. Good YouTube. Level 12-7. TV mode and handheld mode have separate settings for brightness and sound. They'll change automatically when you dock and undock, so be sure to set both. Nice. We've implemented a radar that displays the locations of all fighters. You can change its settings, including size. We can start off. While it's limited to wireless and online play, you can make your teammates semi-transparent so you don't get distracted. Oh, that's good. I hate jumping right off the stage. If you're fighting against a friend on the same system, you can adjust the strength of your fighters. Sometimes a player is just too good, and you want to take measures to ensure it's a fair fight. If that's the case, try using this feature. When custom balance is adjusted, a symbol will be displayed. The of handicap. course, this feature is not available during wireless and online battles. You guys you made a comeback. Your Mii fighters and change their outfits. In addition to the voice options, there are a variety of outfits to choose from. It's kind of overwhelming, man. It's so much. Speaking of Mii fighters, let me introduce you to some new outfits we added in. Tokashimasu. Didn't do the thing. Oh, nice. Yiga, Yiga clan said. They look just like Splatoon. Never mind. Those eyes. Look 
but her arms don't go like hers, huh? <laughs> what the? That's adorable. Mach 3 set. Oh my gosh, Labo, for real? Wow. Dang, what's your little mech? Okay, how's that work? Are you gonna show us how that works? Anyway, there's something I should point out. As I said, we've revealed all of the fighters you can find in the base game. So now you can know. Of course. But there are even more post launch. While we've already implemented a hit huge roster of fighters, this is the Super Smash Brothers series, which means we're leaving the opportunity open to add in more fighters as paid DLC. Since we already included every fighter from the past games, that means there are no more fighters to include unless we develop new fighters from scratch. And we're not wow. talking about Echo Fighters. We'll be developing and selling sets that will include one fighter, one stage, and multiple oh, that's nice. tracks. That's fair. The price for each set is expected to be $5.99. Wow. No more double pays. At the same time, we will offer the Fighters Pass. That's five fighters, five stages, and all of their music tracks. 36. When creating something like the Fighters Pass, ideally, we should reveal what's included before it becomes available Hi. for purchase. However, please allow us to offer this pass before we're ready to reveal its contents. I hope only those who are confident in its value will purchase it. <laughs> Again, the price is $24.99 for all five sets. Now that we've finally confirmed Makes the sense. development five of this DLC, please know that we'll be working really hard on it. You know everybody won't buy it. What is wrong with him? Let's I wonder tired. if I'll ever get to take a break. By the way, here's one purchase bonus you'll get with the Fighter's Pass. It's a Mii Sword Fighter outfit based on Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We decided which fighters to include when we started planning, so we couldn't add characters from titles like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which was announced after planning had started. I the hope music, this man. outfit will help you feel like you're playing as Rex. We're also including some music from the Xenoblade Chronicles series. Give it a listen at Gaur Plain sometime. Other Xenoblade Chronicles characters will also appear as spirits. We've nice. yet to create any of the paid DLC, and we haven't locked down any release dates. But we'll start working on them as soon as we're finished with the main game. It may take around a year or so to finish releasing all the DLC. But on a separate note, Time. We're currently developing something. Something you'll get for free as a limited time offer if you buy the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game now. now. It isn't finished yet, but I want to give you a special sneak peek. He it it looks so mad! <laughs> What's this about? What? I, no. Oh, that's hilarious. Y'all are like getting a little carried away with this now. Oh, uh, I. Wow. Wow. The reach. Oh, that makes sense. What the hell? That's right. Piranha Plant will take root in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And I'm not confused. as an assist trophy, but as an actual fighter. It can spit poison, <laughs> Luigi. fire off spiky <laughs> balls, and perform long-range attacks. This tricky character That's is cool. full of surprises. Its final smash is PD Piranha. If you get caught in the cage, well, let's just say it won't end well for you. 
Piranha Plant is scheduled for completion after the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We've gotten a little head start on it, but it probably won't be ready until a couple of months after launch. Please stay tuned. That's insane. Remember, Piranha Plant is a free, limited time offer. For the physical version of the game, you only need to go through the My Nintendo Gold Point registration process to receive it. I hope you'll consider pre-ordering. We're also creating an amiibo. Of course it's amiibo. It has a nice curved form to it. I can let us a character. What the hell? Later today, you'll be able to pre-purchase the game after finishing this Nintendo Direct. I hope you'll go to Nintendo eShop or Nintendo.com before you forget. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Before we go... I have an announcement for everyone watching this in North America. What's happening? On our official site, you can find information for a variety of upcoming hands-on events. Participants will have a chance to try out all 74 fighters. First come, so first serve basis. To find out where we'll show Time permits. And more. Oh my god, dude. AKA, that's probably not gonna happen. We must have just wait. That's it for the last Nintendo Direct for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before the game launches. But before we go... I should mention that the adventure mode yes. of this game is nothing like what we came up with for the Subspace Emissary. Oh, thank you, because that was... That said, what exactly caused all these characters to lose their bodies and transform into spirits? I'll show you how it all begins, and leave the rest to your imagination. Okay then, please look forward to the game's release. Take a break, man. Take a break. We have peace. You need to take a break. Oh my gosh. You look tired even in that presentation. Don't let a single one get away! Shoot, man! Look at that! Oh shit. We'll each need to take down about ten. Stow your fear. What am I looking now at? Now or never! We'll win this! I know we will! Are these people? Damn. Just killing niggas in this, man. Sonic ain't fast enough. Wow, dude. Very light tipping, man. Nope, deflect nothing. Snake, come on, man. That's <laughs> not gonna work. What are they doing? Where's, where's Mario one? Yeah, that's his beloved character then, man. What happened to Kirby? Man, y'all dark as hell, man. The whole universe? Well, that's really dark. Left this with a cliffhanger, huh? Because I don't. It just looks like it's the end. Oh. Oh, how did he? Kirby was the only one. That's his character. That's Sakurai's character. Oh man, these are all worlds I have to go through.
You gonna wanna play as Kirby now? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is dark, man. This light is going to take forever. This is how we unlock all the characters. World of Light. That sounds like some Final Fantasy stuff. What do you think? Okay, what do you guys think of that? That was intense, man. Um, I'm excited for the game. That looks like it's going to be so much work. So much work. Looks fun, though. Um, thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget, got the giveaway for this game and the controller.